Hello, my name is Anna. I'm a sophomore here at BU. Today I'm going to be taking you on a day in my life. I'm also going to be talking about how to make friends in college and how to find your place at BU. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. It's 12.06 p.m. right now. My next class is at 1.30. Both of my classes today are remote, so I think we're gonna go to the library. This is my roommate, by the way. Hi, ew. Take two. Hi. <laughs> I'm Lily, I'm Anna's roommate. Now it is time for breakfast. Oh, there's one more pickle. There's one more? Can I eat it? You can eat it. I went to Star Market and I got Jimmy Dean Delights English muffins. We don't have any plates, so I've been using the microwave plate. <laughs> vision of college before I came that I was gonna find all my best friends the first week that everything was gonna work out for me very very quickly um, that I was gonna know exactly what I want to do in the future um, in my first semester of college I didn't really think about things turning out any other way and let's just say they did turn out a very different way it took me about a year to completely adjust to being at BU and in college in general but now that I've adjusted I'm the happiest I've ever been so I want to talk about kind of like the process of me finding my place at BU and adjusting basically when I came into college I only pretty much knew my roommate it's actually the only friendship from freshman year that lasted for me so I just wanted to her to come in and we're gonna talk about how we met and all of that. Hi. Thanks for joining. Thanks Thank for you for us. having me. Yeah, no problem. Honestly. <laughs> so we met on the BU roommate finding system. She found me. And then I messaged her because I saw she was Russian. So I said, hey girl, I'm Russian too. And basically we started talking on <laughs> Okay, so said, hey girl. Hey girl. And that was like the winning sentence right yeah, there. Girl. I've never said that in my life. And I, I thought- I don't know what pushed you to I say I thought that. Anna's gonna love yeah, that. Anna's gonna love this <laughs> one. So then we started DMing on Instagram. We didn't text. And then we were like, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna work out. And it worked out. It worked out. And we came to our freshman year not knowing anybody. And it was very difficult to make friends, especially BU is a great school, love it here, but it is a very big school. There's a lot of people. It's nice to have a roommate to stick with um, throughout your freshman year, especially cause it's gonna be an adjustment to go to college and it's all new for you. So yeah. it's really nice to have someone by your side. And then yeah. you'll eventually, you know, grow and make new friends and meet new people. Even if you're not the best of friends, it's still nice to like have someone there who's going through it all mm -hmm. with you. So that's how we <laughs> met. And I'm just gonna talk about what happened from that point on for me. I'll make a scooch over here. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Let's picture this. I meet Lily. Now I know a total of two people because I knew this other girl from orientation. And I'm like, it's okay because Tomorrow, I'm gonna meet 50 new best friends um, and they're all gonna be at my wedding one day and it's gonna be amazing and perfect. So that didn't happen. But what did end up happening was I met a group of people. We become friends, we go on the weekends together, we stick together because we're all freshmen, we're all new. What ended up happening is something that's very, very normal in college that you should probably expect coming to college, which is you're gonna make friends your freshman year and chances are you're not gonna actually end up staying friends with them throughout all of college. Once you start meeting more and more people, you kind of get to find people who you are maybe more compatible with as friends. We were a friend group, but we didn't really know anyone else. But for the time being, we had a good time and I'm glad that I met them. But I still felt really, really lonely all the time. Like something just didn't feel right to me. I didn't feel like I had found 
my place and my people at BU and I honestly clearly remember thinking that I would never ever find that and that was a really scary thought because I had dreamed about college for so long and as I said before I had this really specific vision of what I wanted college to be like for me. We're gonna stop the story here and I'm actually gonna meet up with my friends later and we're gonna talk about how we all met so let's go back to the vlog um, and I'll see you later. I don't have that much work today because I did a lot yesterday. So I need to go to CVS and <laughs> pick up a prescription and Walgreens. We're gonna go to Newbury, whatever. You don't care, I'll just show they you. They care, they care. Okay, thank you. <laughs> sophomore and I'm a business major. Okay, hi, I'm Amelia. I'm a sophomore and I'm majoring in cell bio and genetics and minoring in sociology. Um, hi, I'm Avery. I'm a sophomore. I'm majoring in bio CMG, same as Amelia, um, and minoring in psychology. I'm Lily. Uh, I was already introduced. Yeah, you guys I'm a before. sophomore and I'm an econ major pre-med. I'm switching into a business major and I'm minoring in psychology. We're just gonna talk about like how we met and like how we think the best way is to make friends and find your place in college or in BU specifically. Avery oh, yeah. and I met during orientation and then like throughout freshman year we were we hung out sometimes. Anna, me and Avery, we were all in the same chem class, so we would like yeah. work out oh. together after chem. We got closer that way and then shout out Avery. I know Amelia and Nature because they were both on my floor. We're roommates. In Warren. One good way to find friends is orientation. Yeah, and also just going on your floor freshman year, try to just meet as many people as possible in your building. All <laughs> classes are great. Just like yeah. all yeah. my small yeah. classes, I've made a friend or two just because it's a small yeah. class and you end up talking to everyone. You can also meet people through FISOP. Yeah, so oh, when yeah. I was a freshman, I did the first year student outreach project. Um, it's basically you come to BU a week before move in and you do community service um, for the week and you have like a really small group of like 10 people and you actually get really close with them. I feel like it's very different now with COVID with the next freshman class coming in. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think like how they could meet people since it's like all online. Well, I saw mm -hmm. off so like virtual. And you can also like join clubs. They meet virtually now and mm -hmm. you can also rush virtually. Um, yeah. We did that. Yeah, we both rush. dropped, but <laughs> we, still, we still recommend that like, if you're thinking about it, you should do it because it was still good practice to like, talk to new people. Drew, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I'm Drew. Skaya. I don't go to BU. <laughs> Drew and I are camp friends, so yeah, that's how we met. That's how we know Drew. And Drew, how, since your school has been online so far, how do you meet friends during COVID in college? Um, well, a lot of the time, like, for me, when I was accepted, everyone made, like, Facebook group chats and Snapchat mm -hmm. and Instagram, yeah. and everyone was just, like, finding everyone. You can also meet people at your job. So if you have a work study job, oh, yeah. if you work yeah. at like a place with like a lot of other people. Oh, go to Splash too. Oh yeah, go to Splash. Splash yeah. is like a giant club fair. So you could go to Splash and just like mass sign up for clubs. Clubs are a really good way to make friends. Yeah. If you yeah. become active in clubs, you'll become friends with people. There's also yeah. hella schools in Boston. So yeah. You don't so only have to yeah. have friends at BU. Yeah, yeah. yeah you'll, meet, you'll meet people from other schools. Yeah. And that's sometimes even more fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. like me. Yeah. You get to hear. Yeah. <laughs> also, give everyone a chance. Like, if you think you like don't want to be friends with them, just try. Is that yeah. what you did? Yeah, I was scared of meeting Anna. <laughs> you were scared? really scared. She of thought I was weird. <gasps> I know. I thought okay. you were quiet. You were I just like have this thing where I just can't. I can't talk. <laughs> To people. Yeah, and she made a lot it. of friends. And yeah, she can talk to people. I literally can't talk to people. <laughs> you just have to be yourself too, because I feel like yeah. a lot of people be first you. semester. Be you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like first semester, a lot of people are projecting a personality that they think other people are yeah. gonna like more. Yeah. But if you do that, you will end up with the wrong people that only like that personality for you. So you should really just be mm -hmm. genuine because the right people are gonna love you. 
So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to end this and say that if you come to college with a certain set of expectations and things aren't falling into place as quickly as you thought, that is perfectly normal. Take it from me. Everyone has a different experience. Everything doesn't have to fall into place the first week and that's perfectly okay and it does not mean that you're not gonna have a good college experience. I just wanted to say that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!